we're going to look at characteristics of an effective team. I'm Alex Lyon, and we are working out of BB and Masterson's book on communicating in small groups. And they give, I believe it's eight characteristics of an effective team. So think about teams that you've been a part of, or maybe you're a fan of some sports teams or different type of teams, and you'll see if these eight characteristics apply, whether this team that you're thinking of is, is effective or not. So Carl Larson and Frank Fastow studied McDonald's and, and NASA and some other various sports teams. And they identify these eight characteristics and the the results are consistent with more recent studies in this area. And here are the eight. Number one, effective teams have clear elevating goals. So the, uh, the goal must excite and motivate the team members. That's one of the things that makes them effective. They get pumped up about achieving that clear and elevating goal, something that you have to reach for. Number two, they have a results-driven structure. So teams must have an efficient and organized method of achieving outcomes. They have to have a method to get there. Team structure and roles must be clear and facilitate forward progress. So they have to have that good results-driven structure. It can't be fuzzy and mushy in terms of how things are organized. Number three, they have competent team members. So team members have to be educated, trained, and know what they are doing for whatever type of activity the team is involved in. Number four, they need a unified commitment. So there's this motto, all for one and one for all. And that motto really says it best. The team must feel united and committed to achieve the task that they are working on. And here are the next four. Number five, a collaborative climate. Remember, these are characteristics of effective teams. Not all teams are collaborative, but effective teams are. They create that positive, supportive climate. Number six, they have standards for excellence. So high standards that you as a group member will need to stretch toward. High standards that excite the team members to think of those big goals and reach those big goals. And there's an example in the book that I want to mention, Steinway Pianos. Steinway is uh, the name in pianos, and they occupied some ridiculously high market share of the piano business. They were known for years and decades and decades for uncompromising quality. They had that standard of excellence. There's, a, if you ever ask a serious piano player, you know, what's the best piano? Steinway comes right out of them, out of their mouth because they have that standard of excellence in that company to make the very best. And that gives people pride to work for that company. Number seven, external support and recognition. Now here's one I wasn't expecting. So teams need some outside support to thrive. That's what the research shows. They don't work well in isolation. So a network of outside social and professional connections help. And also external recognition, external positive reinforcement for successes. So you really, as a team, begin to hit your stride and become extremely effective when other people start to recognize that. And there's a reinforcing uh, effect of that outside recognition and, and reinforcement for those successes. And number eight, principled leadership. So no teams thrive without good leaders. They can be designated leaders, like this person is the leader, they have the official position, or the leadership could be shared among various team members. But there's always strong people leading the charge on these teams. And those are the eight characteristics of effective teams. And I'm curious to see which one you think is most important out of these eight. I'd love to hear your comments in that section below. Thanks, and I will see you soon.